Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Tech Tajendra. And we are now part eight of our OpenShift containers and Kubernetes tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will uh, basically do the lab. Okay, it is we are going to start our first lab into our OpenShift environment, which we have uh, created in our part seven tutorial. Okay, if you wanted to check, you can go back to the part seven and can see how to set up our OpenShift cluster. Okay, I have shown you two or three ways to set up the OpenShift cluster and actual OpenShift cluster. You can, if you wanted to set up either in AWS cloud or any other cloud, then there is a separate video created by me. Okay, to set up the actual open OpenShift cluster. Okay, for this tutorial on on for this tutorial series in part seven, what I is what I showed you to create a sandbox environment of OpenShift cluster uh, to uh, to basically uh, for the learning purpose of the OpenShift. Okay, it is not kind of the production environment. Okay, but if you wanted to set up the production uh, OpenShift cluster, then uh, go to the my another series of uh, open learning OpenShift. Okay, in that you can find my video uh, how to set up OpenShift cluster in the different clouds. Okay, so we will focusing on the lab environment. In this first lab, we will uh, create the application using the OpenShift Web Console. Okay, using Web Console, OpenShift Web Console is very easy tool developed by the OpenShift to create and manage your applications into the containers. Okay, so um, let me go ahead here. Okay, in this, I will show you how to build, deploy, and then how to create service services and uh, the route okay for your application which we which we are going to deploy using the OpenShift web console okay so let me first go uh, go to our uh, environment uh, the OpenShift cluster environment sandbox environment development sandbox which we have created so for it we have to go to the openshift.com Okay, then we have created our free trial there. Let me click uh, and start Red Hat Developer Sandbox Machine. Okay, launch your uh, Developer Sandbox Red Hat OpenShift. Let's go uh, use my credential. Okay, start using your sandbox. Okay, so this is our environment. Okay, let me show you the projects which by default OpenShift free trial has convert has created for me. Okay, so OpenShift free trial created these three projects for me. Okay. The Tejendrana core, Tejendrana dev, and Tejendrana stage that we already have discussed in our large tutorial. So let's start using it. Okay. So what we will going to do, we will go inside this project. Okay. And here we will deploy a application using the H2I means source to image concept of OpenShift. Okay. So let me show you what we are going to do. Uh, it is my GitHub account. Okay. Uh, GitHub and then tech Tejendra. And uh, here I have a, um, a simple application, okay, to demonstrate how this H2I uh, will work. Uh, so let's uh, PHP Hello World, okay. This is the application, uh, uh, and uh, I have written a very simple file here, index.php only. If I show you the content of this file, it is having only one line. Okay, it is written in PHP language and it will just print hello world. Okay, and the PHP version. That's it. Very simple program. Okay, written in PHP on a single line in the index.php file. Okay, so this application we are going to um, going to deploy into our uh, this project. Okay. So uh, let me start here. So to start here, let me first change our uh, role from administrator to developer. Okay. And now let, so these are the different ways uh, by using them, we can create our application. Okay. Like if we are having uh, image ready for our uh, application, then we can use the container image. Okay. So means, whatever registry we are having, container registry, kind of Docker hub, 
kind of qa.io or any other registry if you are having any kind of cloud registry we are having we can get our image directly from this container registry and can deploy this image into our container open shift container okay if we are having using docker file then using docker file if we are having yaml configuration okay so a lot of things are here okay so what we are going to do in this example we will receive our code from the git repository which i which i just showed you here we are having an application written in php so we will get this code from the github okay and then we will build okay as I told you that all these uh, um, steps we are going to do, we will first get the code then build our application. Uh, after building, it will produce the image. Okay, so image get deployed into the OpenShift uh, container. Okay, uh, once this deployment complete, then we will create the service and the route. Okay, so uh, let me click here from the gate. Let me uh, provide our uh, repository URL here. So our repository URL is this, uh, advanced options, okay? And uh, um, our uh, branch is main, okay? And uh, context directory is, um, um, context directory is PHP hello world, okay? This is our context directory. So let me copy it and let me paste it here okay builder okay so once this building uh, will start so uh, we will use because of our application is php so let me select php here okay now it is showing what php version we should use to compile and build our application so let me choose so here it is showing the different version right so let me choose the default one 7.3 ubi 7 Okay, let here, uh, let me provide some uh, basic information about our application. So let me keep name of our application like PHP Hello World. Name should be again like PHP Hello World. Let me uh, select resources as deployment config. Okay, then it is asking advanced options, create the route of the application. Okay, so by default it is select. So let's keep it select because let me start with the easy, easy steps. So let OpenShift automatically create the route for us. So it in, by, by selecting this, or, uh, OpenShift will create service as well as route for us. So let me uh, click on create, okay? So uh, like here, okay? So, uh, as of now, uh, it's started building and the deploying uh, our um, uh, application inside the OpenShift cluster, okay? As a OpenShift container. So if we click here, then you can see here many things, okay? Currently build is currently going on, okay? So here you can see, and we can check that. So in the build section, you can see, uh, let us start with the ports, no ports found for this resource because currently ports is not to uh, get created for it. As of now, currently build is going on after build the deployment will be going on and then the service, okay? So if we click uh, the log here, so let me go through the log also for you. Okay, so what it is going to do, it is our get URL, okay? Tactizindra and then uh, in OpenShift cluster, it is receiving the all the, so it's, it's basically doing the cloning, right? So by doing the cloning, it is getting all our code uh, for the PHP Hello World application, okay? From here, it's get all the code, okay? And then from here, as a so by default means in in its internal uh, logic so every uh, so once we are using this h2i means source to image concept so it's getting the all code from the gate and then creating the image based on this uh, source code using the uh, base image which we select as php right uh base build image okay builder image okay so uh so it is creating like okay so uh once it's received all the uh code okay then it started uh like from the 
registry okay so from the so it's basically a generate a docker file okay means it's get the uh, source code from the git and then generate a docker file or us okay then it started these kind of in, so all these are internal okay we are we did not provide any kind of uh, uh, docker file to it okay it's automatically created docker files and create the docker file steps for us okay so everything is uh, um, automated in the open shift environment itself okay so it's uh, started doing this and finally it created the image okay and it's started pushing our application image into the registry into the open shift registry if you can see image registry open shift okay so here it's started pushing and the, now for using this image inside this open shift image registry it will create the open shift uh, containers okay so let me again show you here let me see the status of our application whether it is done or not okay now you can see that pod has been created okay this is the pod id it has been created build is successful it is showing complete Two minutes ago, and it is showing that service is also created for it for these ports. Okay, and our route is also get created. Okay, and this is our external route to access our application. So let's first try to access our application using this route. If I click here, here you can see it is printing the line "Hello World" PHP version seven point three point two zero. Okay, now let me do, let me go ahead one step ahead. Okay, and let me try to make some changes in our code. And let me show you how all these changes again get applied into the OpenShift cluster. So if I go to the, um, uh, this uh, um, um, file, uh, okay, let me try to edit this file here itself in the GitHub okay uh, let me give a uh, print uh, one more print statement here and uh, in this print statement uh, let i provide a line learning Open shift is too much fun. Okay, let I am adding this one more line here in our index.php file. Okay, and uh, let's commit our changes. Okay, our changes has been commit now. Okay, let me go back to our application. And now what we need to do, let me start our application again. Okay, so what we need to do is start our build. Okay, so if I click here, so it is now saying build two. Okay, build two is running. Let me see the log of build two now. So it is getting all the, so it started cloning again, getting all the code from latest code from our uh, Git repository. Okay, and from Git repository, then it will start the building our application. And then it will create the new image uh, from our um, uh, for our application. And then by using this new image, it will create the new ports, new containers. Okay, it will remove the old port, old container, and will create the new uh, containers. Okay, so. Um, it is started all the things. You can see it is repeating everything again. Okay, as I showed you, okay. So it is saying that S2I concept, right? Okay, so our pushing is successful again. Okay, so successfully pushed. So it has created new image and uh, pushed this new image into the new environment. Okay. So let me see the status again here. Okay, so our build two is complete. It is showing, okay. And uh, it is our pod, it is running. Okay, we can also check the log of the uh, uh, pod if we want to check. Let 
we again go to this URL. Now here you can see hello world, learning open shift is too much fun. Okay, so that is how our application is working. Okay, if I show you uh, DC means deployment configuration. Okay, and let me show you here. Okay, so currently one pod is running. Okay, and uh, name is PHP hello world and all other information you can see here okay currently so uh, you if you know the scaling concept okay scaling up and scaling down so currently our application is running in the open ship cluster and in a single pod only okay if i like to uh, uh, scale up my application uh, for the greater availability and if i feel that um, now load is too much in our uh, is my application and one pod is not uh, going to handle all this uh, um, load okay then i increase uh, the ports the number of ports okay so i can increase here so if i increase one more time so now it is scaling my application okay into the two ports now my application is running into two ports means two version of my application are running if i clicking again then it is it is uh, creating one more uh, pod okay now you can see now my application is running on the three ports if i click here now you can see here number of ports are three these are the ports id in which my application are running so means the same image which we have created now this image has been pushed and is has been deployed in these three ports so i am having three versions of my application running in the three ports okay and uh, so it so that is how uh, the scaling uh, work in the and it, and uh, you can see it is very um, simple uh, kind of uh, um, um, environment uh, web console which OpenShift provide us to manage our application very very easily okay just uh, by using some clicks we can uh, create increase the ports we can also decrease the ports if I uh, decrease now now if I feel my application load is now low and the three ports are not required so, okay so I can decrease the number of ports here okay so it is a very simple and very easy to use environment which OpenShift provide through this OpenShift web console okay so we have uh, uh, so all these things okay now uh, uh, from the next uh, lab okay we will not going to use uh, this open shift web console because open shift web console is very easy to use but it's not give you the power not give you the actual open shift power okay to use the actual open shift power you have to use the open shift command line cli okay so from and for um, exam uh, 180 okay uh, uh, the uh, means uh, cli is very very much important okay so from uh, next tutorial uh, whatever lab we will going to do okay we will uh, use the open shift web uh, cli open shift cli thanks everyone